today I'm gonna be filming a video of how I created this makeup look. I went to the beach with my parents last week. We were going to watch the sunset. I did my makeup and everything and I loved the way it turned out. And so I thought I would film me recreating it. The lighting is just aggravating me. There's just a bunch of clouds in the sky today. And so it's just not good lighting, but we're gonna make it work. Do not mind my skin. If you see like stuff around my nose and mouth, it's my skin, like I guess purging from the medication I'm using for my face. So it's kind of irritated and just dry. It's just super dry. So just ignore that. It's just part of the process, I guess. So first thing I'm gonna use is the Say Star Glow Gel. This is so good and I'm gonna be using it all summer because it's so light, but it gives you glow, like that glowy look, but without it being like sparkly and seeing like actual sparkles all over your face. It just gives you that nice shine that I am obsessed with. I wore foundation that day, but I don't think I'm gonna put foundation on just because I don't wanna really irritate my skin and I don't wanna like cover it, it cover it really. But I did use the Beautiful Skin Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to use the concealer that I used and it's the Hourglass concealer in silk we're picking up my brother from the airport tomorrow he's flying over here and i'm so excited i haven't seen him since i was in Asheville. so i'm super excited to see him and we're gonna celebrate his birthday because it was this past week it was on the 25th so we're gonna celebrate his birthday and we're gonna surprise him and he has no idea so we got all these decorations for him we're getting a cake for him today not really a cake we're getting him a tart like a fruit tart because we just stopped getting birthday cakes and now all we get is just fruit tarts because they're so good and if you get the ones from Publix oh my gosh they're a game changer the ones from Whole Foods are also amazing my brother is coming and we are going to the beach and I'm so excited we haven't really been on like a family trip in a long time so I'm very excited to spend time with them and yeah I have to pack today I might film some of that and I might make a separate video of me packing because I have not done that and we are leaving on Monday and it is Friday I just need to do some laundry because some of my clothes that I'm taking are still dirty so i need to do laundry i cleaned i helped my mom clean the house today and that's all good i use the rare beauty i mean it says bronzer stick so it's not like yeah i don't consider it like contour but it just kind of warms up my face and gives a little dimension i guess I'm ready to get a tan at the beach because I feel like I have not seen the sun really and I'm just ready to see for my skin to get tan but I need to watch out for my face because since I am using that medication on it uh, it's super sensitive, obviously, so I am going to have to pack sunscreen on my face. I already do, but I'm going to have to be extra cautious on, like, reapplying. So, I'm going to have to watch out for that. We already got, like, I think one of my favorite parts about traveling is, like, before tra you go on your trip or whatever... Like, getting the mini size, like, travel things, like, shampoo and lotion and all that. 
I just think is so much fun. I always love doing that. This is like a pretty summery, glowy makeup that doesn't really feel too heavy to me. This has been my favorite blush. I seriously love this shade. It's the Say blush in the color Rosy. Oh my gosh. It just fits my skin tone so well and I just don't really have many blushes in this color. And it's just so pretty. I love it. It kind of mimics like a tan and it's just stunning. I mean, you probably like can't see how beautiful it is like in the camera because in the viewfinder it does not look like I really put any blush on, but in person it's gorgeous and then i'm just gonna take it over the nose so it kind of looks like i got a tan or i've been in the sun so pretty something i just started doing is taking a brush like this and then just patting it underneath the eye because i just have like dry skin like y'all know that i have super dry skin i don't need to be like baking i don't need to be doing all that like slightly powdering the areas that get a little bit shiny is just perfect for me because if i do more than that it just kind of ends up looking really cakey and not the best on my skin so just using a brush like this is perfect this is the hourglass powder this is my favorite and it's just to keep it in place And then over the nose just a little bit beautiful so i'm gonna take this wet and wild um mellow wine blush this is one of my favorite powder blushes it's just very very pigmented so i kind of have to be careful when i'm using it and then a little bit over the nose I love this highlighter. It's the Natasha Denona Rose Cheek Duo. And oh my word. It comes with this blush and this highlighter. But I haven't tried the blush on my face. I've just swatched it. But the highlighter is amazing. But I do want to try the blush. I just haven't yet. Because I've been loving the Say one. <laughs> and then I put a little bit of highlighter on like the center of my nose and right here so i'm gonna just use my anastasia this is just boring i might not even include this because who really wants to see me do my eyebrows let's do the eyes i use the tartlet and bloom palette this is my favorite and then i'm just going in with that shade and then the darker one in my outer crease the makeup artist that did my makeup for my wedding, she used this palette. And I really loved it, so I got it myself. And it was on sale. Ulta usually has this palette on sale every year for like the spring sale event or the winter or fall one. They always have this palette, I've noticed, or some sort of Tarte palette on sale. And... You just gotta look out for it. But I got it for like $24. And it's originally like $40, I think. I'm gonna go into that deeper color. I'm just going to put it on the outside of both of my eyes. It is so windy outside. And we've been having storms every night. And last night it was so bad. Like the past two or three nights, it's been bad and i was watching tv yesterday and it was like oh there's like tornado warnings like near you because that is my biggest fear is tornadoes i cannot like i grew up in the mountains we did not have tornadoes so when i moved to nebraska i was like what is this and i experienced the craziest storms of my whole life because in north carolina that really that fear of like tornadoes is really not something we think about I took the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Eyeliner in Bronze Glitz. I saw this in Walmart and I was like, that is so pretty. So I just lined the uh, 
top of my eye and then did a little bit of a wing on both of my eyes and it was not like perfect it was just kind of messy but it's so subtle like it's so subtle I kind of like the way I did it this time it was a little bit thicker this time than how I did it the other day but this is way better and then I'm just gonna take a plain black eyeliner and then just tight line my lash line so I've been using grande lash for about four weeks now or three and I'd say that I noticed it this morning that my eyelashes are growing and I was so shocked because I was like this probably won't work I have had short lashes my whole life you know and I just did not think that they would actually grow but even my mom noticed she was like your eyelashes are getting longer and thicker I actually really like it I didn't think I would like it at first and it was because I didn't think it was gonna work but also because my eyes got so red from using it in the beginning that I almost just stopped using it um, it didn't feel like irritated it didn't hurt or anything it didn't itch but they were just really red but I was like I'll just deal with it I guess and um, I just kept on using it and eventually the redness went away I also don't know if it's because of the sunscreen I was using because every time I used the sunscreen my eye was my eyes were getting red and I did not know if it was from the sunscreen or from the grande lash but either way I stopped using the sunscreen so it might have been that but my eyelashes are actually like way longer than they've ever been <laughs> Do you like my cowgirl hat in the back? I'm gonna wear that to the beach. Because it's cute. And also, it keeps the sun out of my face. So it's a win-win. The eyes are done. And now, the last is lips. I got this new lip liner from CoverGirl in the shade 230 Marvelous. Because I've been wanting like a mauve shade and this is what they had there. I wanted to get Hot Sauce by Sephora but it was sold out. So I was like, this looks like similar. I don't know if it is but it's super pretty. And then... I used the Makeup by Mario Erin um, lipsticks. This one is just my favorite. I used the Too Faced Lip Injection, the Maximum. And I used to have the full size of this. I think I still do in Nebraska, but I forgot how much this burns and <laughs> I put it on for the first time in a long time and I was like oh gosh I forgot how much this hurts this is the final makeup look and thank you for watching bye